Hey, what's up guys? Andy here, and today I decided we would do a How Well Do I Know Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, considering I just finished uh, the anime like a week and a half ago, and I've been working on a video for my overall feelings on it, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a long video, and I wanted to get it out tonight, well today I should say, but um, it just it didn't work out in time, so it's probably going to be next week. But since the Promised Neverland is over, and we had you know Eden Zero go up yesterday, I had nothing for the day, so I thought it'd be fun to see how well I actually do know it. Now I didn't read the manga, so this might be a little bit challenging, but hopefully it's a fun little video for y'all to check out, and I think it's just going to be a good little you know filler for the day. Uh, it's just going to be a chill, laid-back video, nothing special, so if y'all want to click off, I do understand. But without further delay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and let's jump right on into this. Back, back, back from the dead. Alright gang, so I've been loaded on this page, but I didn't read the first question. Uh, I wanted this to be raw and genuine, so I have not taken this test yet. Uh, I'll link this test down below if you want to take it yourself, but I mean that's up to you. Okay, let's make the first question easy, okay? What price did Ed and Al have to pay for trying to commit the forbidden taboo human transmutation? Ed, his right arm and left leg, Al, his body, uh, Ed, his left arm, his eyesight, no, no, his body, okay, so it is the first, I thought they were going to try to trick me for a minute. At what age did Ed join the military to be a state alchemist? I know he was the youngest, or one of the youngest, maybe, state alchemists. I'm going to say 13. I don't think I got that one right. Who's the first homunculi that Ed and Al meet? Greed. No. Fuck. No, they, I think they met... No, it was Greed, I think. Okay, let's make this a little bit harder. What was Pride's human name? Celine Bradley. Who is Ed Now's father? <laughs> Bob. Von Hohenheim. Which homunculi was first to die? Oh, I think it was Envy. No, it was Envy. Was it? Or Lust. Shit. No, it was Lust. I'm comfortable with that answer. Who is the state alchemist that killed Scar's older brother and family during the Ishvalan War? The Crimson Alchemist, the Iron Blood Alchemist, or the Full Metal Alchemist? Wait. Are there... Okay, there's no more... Okay. So, I don't remember this dude's name exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was the Crimson. Because the Flame Al Alchemist, you know, it's not him. It's not the Full Metal. Iron Blood, I think, died. So I'm going to go with Crimson. How did Dr. Marco destroy Envy? Made him into that weird lizard thing. Uh, he didn't scar, did no. He just kept killing him. He destroyed the Philosopher's Stone within Envy. Who does Gluttony accidentally swallow when his ribs are coming out of his belly? Al and Envy. No, Ed, Envy, and Idiot Prince. <laughs> yeah, okay. Which among you I take over Ling or uh, Ling Yao's body? That was Greed, who is spoiler alert my favorite character. Uh, what did Al give up to get Ed's arm back? What did Al give up to his gave up his arm or what? Or was it his soul? He, I mean, technically he didn't get rid of anything. He kind of just. Oh God. I guess it would be his soul. What did Ed do to get Al back from the truth? He gave up his right arm again, his eyesight, his other leg. He gave he gave up his alchemy. Who forced Roy Mustang to do human transmutation? Pride and wrath. What did Roy lose after he saw the truth? Oh, his eyesight. Who kills wrath? Oh. Shit. Oh, his scar. Who killed lust? Uh, Mustang. This won't affect your answer. Who's your favorite homunculite? Mine's gluttony. Well, you would be wrong because where's greed? Oh, <laughs> greed is best boy. 
88, 15 of the 17 correct. You didn't get them all correct, but you were close. Oh, do I get to see which ones I got wrong? Oh, I'm sure somebody will let me know. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to take this for a little short video, gang. I mean, I could try to find one more to do because that one's a little bit, you know, quick. But, um, yeah, I just want to make this video fun and just a filler, pretty much. So on that search gang, I didn't really find any other ones that looked good, but I did find this. What type of alchemy is best for you? Why do you want to learn alchemy? Okay, so this is kind of like, I guess, mm, for like role play or I don't know. To protect loved ones, to help people to accomplish my goals, to become stronger for science. I would probably say to, to accomplish my goals. I mean, to be honest, it probably would be a mixture of these two. Like, I would want to use it for my own personal gain, but of course I would help people in the long run too. Well, maybe to help people, we'll just go with that. Where would you choose to train? Briggs, if I can for survive that, I can survive anything. The uninhabited island, gotta learn some life skills first. On the battlefield, there's no better teacher than experience. In the library, the more knowledge, the better. In another country, they're bound to practice some interesting alchemy. Um, I don't think I could hack it at Briggs, I'm going to be honest. I don't really want to be on an uninhabited island. I, I guess the battlefield would be like the best place to learn it, but that would be the hardest. I mean, in the library kind of sounds good, we'll go with that. <laughs> what is your preferred fighting style? Up close and personal, alchemy and fists. I fight with alchemy alone. I like options in my fighting style, long range, I prefer to let others do fighting. I like, you know, options. I like to be able to go back and forth. What are your strengths? My strong will and determination. My speed and quick thinking. Definitely not that. My calm demeanor in stressful situations. My resourcefulness or my vast knowledge. I would say I'm pretty calm under pressure. How do you take on enemies who are stronger than you? I fight with everything I have. I haven't lost until I've given up. <laughs> Every anime character ever. I use my reflexes and skill to catch them off guard. I observe their style and look for a weakness. They may be stronger than me, but not my whole group. Overpower them in numbers. I use force against them. I mean, I guess I would just observe them and look for, you know, their weakness. The truth has its grubby little hands and everything, so fate will decide this one. Truth. Fire alchemy. Okay. Fire alchemy takes a great precision and concentration to master. A fitting skill for you... For your calm and calculated demeanor, fire can be quick to spread and easy to lose control of. So you might be calm and alert in chaotic situations in order to use it effectively. It is a very powerful alchemy that is used correctly can help you accomplish your goals. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, fire alchemy is really cool. I, I think that would probably be the one I want if I could use alchemy. Anyway though guys, like I said, this is a fun little video. So if you liked it for you know some reason, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Take a moment right here. Feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun. With a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my hair.